In this video, we are going to prove this fascinating equation arc tangent of 1 plus arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3 is pi radians in three different ways. In three different ways. The first way is going to be by using a picture, and I think this is the most elegant way for this particular equation. And the second method is going to use the tangent addition identity. Tangent addition identity. So that's going to be the second method, identity. And the final method we are going to use to prove this is by using complex numbers. Using complex numbers. Let's begin with the most elegant method, using a picture. And in this case, the proof is instantaneous. You see that we have three right triangles. So we have a right angle right here. We have another right angle right here because we have two 45 degree angles. This is 45 degrees and we have another 45 degrees here. So we have 90 degrees. So we have the second right triangle and we have the final right triangle. And we see that this angle is arc tangent of 1 because tangent of this angle is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. And the second angle is going to be arc tangent of 2 because the opposite side is twice the length of the adjacent side. So we have 2 over 1 for the tangent of this angle. So the angle is arc tangent of 2. And what's the final angle? Well, you guessed it. That's going to be arc tangent of 3 because the opposite side, because the opposite side is 3 times the length of the shoulder side. So this is the shoulder side and you have 3 of them for the longest side. So we have opposite or adjacent being 3. And now we are done. We have arc tangent of 1 plus arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3 is 180 degrees or pi radians. So for the first method, the picture is indeed worth a thousand words. Now, you may say, why do we even need to care about the tangent addition identity and complex numbers? Why do we even have to care about these other methods when we have this amazing, beautiful proof using a picture? Well, for this particular equation, using a picture works out just fine. It's all organized and you can see what's going on immediately. But for a more complicated equation, this is not going to work. So if you see a similar expression using arc tangent, who knows, in competition math or in real life, the chances are it's not going to be this easy. So you may say, are there any other ways? Are there any other more systematic ways of evaluating a sum of a bunch of arc tangents? And the way of doing so is by using one of these two methods. So these two are also educational and informative. So I think we will touch on them. So let's go to number two. Let's start by realizing that arc tangent of 1 is very easy to evaluate. We all know that arc tangent of 1 is 45 degrees or pi over 4. So we know this thing is pi over 4. So really all we need to show is that arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3 is 3 pi over 4 to show that pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4 is pi. So how do we evaluate arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3? So let's think about this. Arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3. One way of evaluating this is by taking the tangent of the entire sum. We know from the tangent addition identity that tangent of A plus tangent of B is equal to tangent of A plus tangent of B over 1 minus tangent of A times tangent of B. So in this case, we can think of arc tangent of 2 as being A and arc tangent of 3 as being B. And we can just use this equation. So we have this expression is equal to tangent of A plus tangent of B. So tangent of arc tangent of 2 plus tangent of arc tangent of 3. And you see that this is going to simplify because tangent of arc tangent of 2 is going to be 2 and tangent of arc tangent of 3 is going to be 3. So it looks like this expression is going to simplify. So we have 1 minus tangent of A times tangent of B. So tangent of arc tangent of 2 times tangent of arc tangent of 3. So what do we have? We know tangent of arc tangent of 2 is 2. Tangent of arc tangent of 3 is 3. So we have 2 plus 3 over 1 minus 2 times 3, also known as 5 or negative 5 or negative 1. Let's let this entire thing be x. So we want to find the x. And we know tangent of x 
is negative 1. So what is x? Well, you may say x has to be 3 pi over 4 because tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. But we have to be careful though because tangent of 11 pi over 4 is also negative 1 and tangent of negative pi over 4 is also negative 1 and in fact there are infinitely many x such that tangent of x is negative 1. So how do we know x has to be 3 pi over 4? One easy way of deducing that is by setting up some simple inequalities. We all know that arc tangent of 1 is pi over 4 so we know this is arc tangent of 1 or pi over 4, and we know arc tangent of 2 and arc tangent of 3 are going to look something like this. This is going to be arc tangent of 2, and we are going to have arc tangent of 3 above it. And it's pretty easy to see that both arc tangent of 2 and the arc tangent of 3 are more than pi over 4. So we know arc tangent of 2 and the arc tangent of 3, we know each of them are more than pi over 4, so we know this thing is more than pi over 2 combined. And we also see that arc tangent of 2 is less than pi over 2, and arc tangent of 3 is also less than pi over 2, so their sum is going to be less than pi. And the only angle that you can take tangent of to get negative 1 between pi over 2 and pi is 3 pi over 4, so we know our expression has to be 3 pi over 4. So we know we have a pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4, so we have shown that arc tangent of 1 plus arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3 is pi. Finally, let's take a look at the method using complex numbers. Now, before we start, let's quickly review geometric properties of complex multiplication. Let's say we have two complex numbers, one with angle 30 degrees, so this one has angle 30 degrees, and the other one with angle 45 degrees. When you multiply these two complex numbers, you are going to get a new complex number whose angle from the positive real axis is going to be the sum. It's going to be the sum of 30 and 45. So this angle is going to be 75 degrees. So the main point I want to make is that in complex multiplication, angles add up. So if you start with 1 with angle 30 degrees and 1 with angle 45 degrees, the product is going to have angle of 30 plus 45 degrees. And you may say, why do we need to care about that? Well, arc tangent of 1, arc tangent of 2, and arc tangent of 3, each of them is an angle. So we are adding up 3 angles. So one way of representing this is by multiplying 3 complex numbers. So what complex numbers are we multiplying? Well, the complex number with the angle arc tangent of 1 is 1 plus i. Because if you think about it, 1 plus i, when you graph it, has angle of arc tangent of 1. So when this angle is arc tangent of 1, because opposite over adjacent is 1. Opposite is 1, adjacent is 1. How about arc tangent of 2? Well, that's going to be 1 plus 2i, because once again, we are going to have opposite over adjacent of 2. The opposite is going to be 2, while the adjacent is 1. So we have arc tangent of 2 as the angle. And using the same reasoning, arc tangent of 3 can be represented with 1 plus 3i. And once again, when you multiply the complex numbers, the angles are going to add up. So let's multiply all of these. 1 plus i times 1 plus 2i is going to be 1 minus 2, negative 1, plus 3i. And you are multiplying this thing by 1 plus 3i. And this is going to be, let me just factor negative 1 out of this. So we have a product of complex conjugate. And we see that this thing is 1 plus 9 or 10. So we have negative 10 as the product. So let's think about negative 10. What angle does negative 10 have? Well, negative 10 is right here. So we have the angle of pi. Once again, you can show that this thing is not 3 pi. This thing cannot be 3 pi or 5 pi or negative pi by setting up the inequality as we did with the tangent addition identity. This thing is indeed pi. So we have shown that arc tangent of 1 plus arc tangent of 2 plus arc tangent of 3 is pi in three different ways.